the final race of the day will be the Your Favourite Handicap, which is a 0 to 90 over a mile and three quarters, on more six furlongs at the top. So alive, Craig Beck with Music Dan. David Hooley, the Tempest and Native Fighter for Graham Clutterbuck. Silk Kimono, Alex Cherry, Esterard, Paul Fisk, Tall Oaks, Obi Wan, Gracie Coops, and Ortia Given for Matt Cooper, and Lion Star for Alex Cherry. Your field of 10 then in this one. And away they go. And so alive, and Gracie Coops, kind of this near side dispute in the early lead with Silk Kimono also coming through and it's Silk Kimono in fact who's going to come across and take it up so Silk Kimono then in front from the Matt Cooper pair Ortia Given and Gracie Coops then Music Dan the grey David Hooley's got that many greys then the back marker is so alive Tall Oaks in the yellow jacket for Obi-Wan I think is also near the back and the front as they come past the winning post past the big stands and head off a complete circuit of the track. Have you noticed that nobody in S07 land who's got a house has also got a car? Because none of them have got a drive and there's not a road to any of their houses. Pointless piece of information I've just noticed as we pass some more gingerbread houses. Uh, Silk Kimono is clearing the lead from Lion Star in second. So it's a 1 2 for Alex Cherry at this point. And all tear given and Gracie Coops making it a 3 4 for Matt Cooper. With Esterard on the outside of them, and Native Fighter and the Tempest. And two Grand Clutterbuck horses, although they've got different coloured silks. So Alive has made a forward move. Music Dan, the grey is towards the rear, and Tall Oaks is the back marker. But the leader, Silk Kimono, is a good five clear. Pretty sure this one was around last season. Lion Star as well in second. Then Esterard, all tear given is after that one, then Gracie Coops. And so alive. The music down, getting a bit closer on, under a bit of pressure at the back now is the Tempest. But it's Silk Kimono, who's bowling along happily in the lead. From Ortia given in second. Gracie Coops on the inside, might have just stolen that place from her stable mate. So alive is the one who's making eye catching progress up the inside for Craig Beckwith. Music down the grey is. Watching that one's every move. Also trying to come through with a bit of a run now from the back is Tall Oaks. But it's Silk Kimono who's still in the lead from So Alive. It looks like he's got a door handful on that one. Then Gracie Coops and Ortia given. Esterard round the outside is now making a forward move. Music Dan and Tall Oaks start to make their move. The Tempest is trying to get back into it as well. Wide open this one with two and a half to go. And Silk Kimono is in the lead from Esterard up the centre of the track who's now coming through to challenge. Now he says go on So Alive. Also Native Fighter is out. Absolutely flying. Tall Oaks is also trying to get into it, but So Alive has hit the front. So Alive has now gone on by a length. Native fighter and Esther right up the centre of the track, but it's So Alive down this near side inside the final furlong. So Alive from Native fighter on the far side. So Alive and Native fighter pulling away from the rest of them. They're racing down inside the final, final half furlong. It's So Alive who's got a hold on and saying it's So Alive is the winner from in second place. Native fighter then came the Tempest to run on well. Esther on next, then Tall Oaks. Music Dan never got going at all. And the Matt Cooper pair dropped out to the back and it's so alive I think you could pick that one as the likely winner a long way out and took that one quite cleverly from native fighter in second so so alive for Craig Beckwith takes the final race of day two week three native fighter for Graham Glutton was second who also took third with the Tempest Esterard for Paul Fisk was fourth and Tall Oaks for Obi-Wan was fifth and we'll be back Tomorrow with day three of week three.